we're all getting COVID tests. Nobody's excited about it. It's never good news when Rex breaks open a wall and says, uh-oh. Okay, are we ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, actually? Are you kidding Wait, me? Are you, You're kidding? Not, are you lying? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> What's going on, Mosh? You know? Is <laughs> <laughs> pregnant. What? So I noticed this yesterday morning that the water was sloshing back and forth. And um, I checked the to, for earthquakes that are local. And we've had earthquakes over the last few days. Local. And what I found was that's actually not something that is rare. It actually happens quite a bit. But as you can see, it's happening again today where the water is moving back and forth in the pool. And um, it's an indicator that the earth is shifting and moving. I'm just wondering if it's happening all the time. I've just never noticed it, or if it's just something that's happened over the last few days, but apparently we've had, or are having, another earthquake oh. right now. It's even sloshing back and forth even more so right now. I still have a really big mess out here to clean up. So this is a lot of the garbage that was out here, construction garbage, stuff from tearing up the, the ground and stuff. And then that's the barbecue that, that uh, got tipped over and broken, and I've got to get rid of that. Garbage can full of stuff, dirt and rocks and stuff everywhere. And um, <laughs> I don't want to do any of it because I still ha they're still going to come in and do a little bit more, making more messes. So this is the gas line over there that's got to be put in. It stops right there where that thing is stubbed up right there. And um, it needs to go all the way around to the other side of the pool before we can fill that in and start doing some of the other things that need to happen over there. And um, I don't know. I almost don't even want, even want to come out here because it's just such a mess that I can't do anything about right now. I mean, I could clean it up to where it feels comfortable again, but then it's just going to get all messed up again because we got to move dirt and do other things. So I, I guess it's all good for now, right? The migraine I had yesterday was one of those ones where today it's just like a lingering fuzzy headache. And so I just feel off today and I will probably end up here taking a nap later if I have time. But those headaches are the worst because it's like half the day yesterday, I couldn't really do anything. And then today I just feel like I'm not really getting things accomplished. We'll see how the rest of this day goes. It's never good news when Rex breaks open a wall and says, uh oh. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. Rex just made this hole in the wall right there and he's like, uh-oh, we've got a dilemma. Um, this wall, we were trying to come break it down until this point right here, which he cut all the way up, look at that. Um, trying to break it to this point right here. Come back that far. And then he cuts open and finds hot, cold water lines, cold and hot. Electrical, which is easy, we can remove that. But a drain pipe and a vent pipe. We may not be able to break this wall down. But this is not the wall that I was highly concerned about coming down anyway. It's, it's that one over there. Well. Interesting stuff. Giga. You'll be fine. How do we get it? I'll be okay. So we're going to Hawaii and we're all getting COVID tests. Nobody's excited about it. Um, just to make 100% certain that we don't have any issues getting into the airport, getting to Hawaii, they have standards that are changing constantly, so we're like, let's just make this happen to where 100% we know that we don't have COVID and we can go in there 72 hours before and make 100% certain that we're not carrying any problems into Hawaii. But because of that, we've got some anxieties back there. I'm not sure exactly how, what kind of tests they're going to give us. Spit test? Nasal test or back of the brain test. Are you ready for this? He's going to hold my hand the whole time, huh? It's going to be just great. It's going to be great. Four, five. That's not bad. It's more tickly than anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then just put it back in the <laughs> Okay, so not so bad, right? No, okay. no it's just tickly. It tickles, yeah. I'm probably going to be laughing my hand off. It'll be my fine. My nose is dry. No, you're going to do great, buddy. <laughs> Yay. 
Yeah. One, yeah. push it around. One, two. two. Wow, you're doing the better three. than anybody. Push it up, 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 up. Four. Four. Five. Five. Good, Good job. job. Good Andy. job, dude. Just All done with my nails. I figured this blue was like light enough so it was like a Christmasy blue, but I still wanted my nails to be blue, so it works. Um, is anyone missing anything today? Nope, my brain. Missing anything. No one's missing anything. Nope. Sorry, setting something up right now. Going down for real right now. It's happening right now. Okay, are we ready for this? Yeah. Wait, are you are you not serious? Are you serious? Wait, actually? Are you kidding me? Are you actually? lying? No. Are you, are you really? Are you really? Are you serious? Are you lying to me? You can hurt her, but you gotta be careful. <laughs> It's been like, yeah. Really? Five. <laughs> Mara did tell me like five weeks ago, and she said, don't tell anybody. You're like, <laughs> but I can't not tell Johnny. <laughs> I was because, expecting it, but. I because then I would have been like really weird for the next five weeks, and he would have been like, what? Because when I have a secret, I get really weird. She would have been like, these waffles are something that babies would eat. <laughs> <laughs> not that weird, just like not saying anything. I'm just like, I can't tell the secret, so I can't say anything. <laughs> The other night I gave her a hug, like a couple nights ago. I was like, get feeling better. I'm like, or don't get feeling better. <laughs> Actually, don't get feeling better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then I realized there were some kids and I'm like, because you're gonna always be sick anyway. <laughs> Trying to come up with something. When are you telling everybody else? After our first ultrasound. Nice. Which is when? December 1st. Oh, oh so we have to keep a secret yeah. for a while. For like two You're weeks. So excited. <laughs> I thought you were holding Zuri. Inside? I thought you were I this holding and I like. Thought you had the kid, so I said, "Are you pregnant?" And then you pulled No, I down, actually like, said. Wait. I was actually about to say, "Why do you? Why do you have all the cats in there?" That's so exciting. Dad. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be aunts and uncles. That's crazy. Kigo, is that crazy? You're gonna be an June. uncle. Oh, that deserves a big kiss. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, Mara got a group hug. Branson better get a group hug too. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Or did he? I actually kind of did, huh? Well, now he's gonna go on the As. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, oh, okay, we've said it many well, times that our family's not, growing. Our family's not, now growing, growing again. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, wait, we, everyone's here. We're making an announcement? Yes. Camera announcement. Okay, so who's making an announcement? You're making an announcement. Okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, are you serious right now? Okay, let's see. Look at that. It's like he's like going around in there. Are you serious? <laughs> it was it was moving around and like running around in there. Oh. <laughs> it was literally like That's a real baby in there. It's okay. Look at that. It has a face. It's your grandbaby. <laughs> so how far along are you? At 10 weeks. Woohoo! <laughs> guess guess when it's due. When? <laughs> Our 2 year anniversary. No. Are you serious? Like, so who here did it? No. Okay, you guys. So we haven't seen any pictures yet. We've known about it for two weeks. Two weeks. Well, two you weeks. But Sarah and I have known about it for probably six weeks. Yeah. 
since like the it third week. It was so weekend. hard. <laughs> because it's been very difficult for Mara. But yeah. look. It's not a prank. It's not a prank. This is real. Oh, so cool. No, not yet. It's too soon. But you're not like, they're not going to find out. We're going to wait till the end. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so the next people, are you going to make an announcement tonight? Or no? Yeah, are you gonna wait? Tonight? We'll tell Grandpa and Mimo tonight, but we're not gonna tell the world. No. You tell so Grandpa. You tell me. I, I know. We, we're like, it's it's okay. But the thing is, maybe he'll tell people that we might forget to tell. <laughs> okay, so you know the world. Is this going that's, to going on the world? The world in two weeks. Yeah. How exciting! Yeah. Uh, your announcement is a lot more exciting than mine that I'm making tonight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just to well, we gotta start off with that one. Yeah. We'll build up. Yeah. We're getting a total early Christmas. <laughs> What's your name? Oh! <laughs> you think they know? Do they know? No? They know. Okay, they they know. know. These guys know. What's the announcement? I am graduated now okay. from I did. <laughs> Officially a high school, school oh, graduate. Can you can't say you're a high school dropout anymore. Yay! I can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, 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 you didn't. You got a diploma. I dropped out of high school. Graduated. Yeah, you did drop out of high school. You could just tell people you graduated early. Yeah. That's still fun. Can you just say that? Technically, that's true. So. Okay, so we have another announcement. I'm a successful announcement. I am not pregnant. Oh, dang it. Sorry. Me neither. We knew you were trying. <laughs> you, you'll get there. You'll get there. Yeah. Okay. My announcement? Starting February 6th, I will be the newest Disneyland cast member. Woo! Are you serious? Yeah. That's oh, my oh my god. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. oh my god. Good girl. How great yeah. is that? I'm excited. That's your dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the next one. Oh. What flavor? <laughs> bean. Little bean. It's bean flavor right now. Oh my gosh. Yay! And Katie! <laughs> so exciting. We kind of thought that. I had suspicions. We had that suspicions. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Remember that time we were at the gym studio? We were like, is Mara pregnant? Yes. We were like, I don't know. Uh, She's I don't a horrible know. liar, by the way. She is. Yeah. She is so I knew bad. if I asked her, she would tell me. You can totally tell. I just look on her face. Well, that is exciting. Branson and Mara are going to be parents. I mean, they pretty much are parents at the moment. And we're going to be grandparents. I, I've heard a lot of people say, I mean, Sarah and I are, Sarah and I are only 41. I've heard a lot of people say, don't make me a grandparent too early or something, things along that, those lines. I'm not old enough to be a grandparent. I've actually heard it quite a bit. But I gotta say that I don't think age has anything to do with it. I think it has to do with whether you're ready or not to, to, to understand and be okay with, I guess, where that next chapter in life is. And for me, I am totally ready for it. Not to say that I've been, oh, I just can't wait until I'm a grand pa or whatever grandpa that sounds crazy right but um, but to say that it's just, just it's another chapter that's so exciting in, in life and in this life and there's just so much happening right now with Allie now preparing to move completely out of the state and Danielle also preparing to move out soon and Branson and Mara you know moving on to that next chapter of being parents and um, man, life is good life is just so incredible and um, just reminds me to continue to live in the moment. Don't sit there and live in tomorrow and, and uh, wish and wait for things to come and definitely don't live in the past as if it's uh, the past is still happening. Right now is the important part. Right now is the exciting part of life. Even if it's not that exciting and not that great, listen to Mim Kitty. She's like, dude, have you forgotten about me? Let's let her out and see what happens here. Oh, Mim Kitty. Life is good, huh, Mim Kitty? Yeah, you just gotta get away for a minute. One kitten left. Uh, in fact, he's already called for, and um, we will take him to his new owners here in the next, uh, let's see, week and a half. But um, anyway, life is good. Life is good, guys. Even through all the challenges, life is good. 
enjoy the now, enjoy the moment because it'll be gone tomorrow and there'll be a new moment to enjoy. We love you guys. Never forget that. You are worth it.